So UCT, Graduate School of Business, is part of UCT, the broader university, which I'm sure you probably know is a very distinguished university, very prolific in research, and the oldest university in South Africa, in fact. However, we have our own campus, and here's the bonus, we have the most beautiful location. It's, it's really a, a stunning place, there's wine farms and beaches and mountains, and could you ask for anything more? The campus itself used to be an old prison, oh, there we go, it's right at the waterfront, which is the big tourist attraction in Cape Town, and it's got status art facilities and a beautiful new conference center, so it's a really, really um, state of the art campus. So we're going to talk about the SEMS Master of International Management. And the beautiful thing about this program is that in addition to get a master's degree in South Africa, you're also getting what's called the SEMS certificate. And I'm going to tell you more about this very prestigious certificate. So what is SEMS? It's a global alliance that happens to be on every single continent. And you can see all the schools that are earmarked on this map that are part of this global alliance. It's an alliance between actual corporates, which I'll tell you about in a moment, and the 33 of the, the world's top leading business schools. So some of the statistics, um, we've got 68 corporate partners and I'll mention who they are now. Um, and we have at the moment, 1,328 students from 79 nationalities who are currently busy finishing off their SEM. So you can imagine this is, it's this huge network of students from all over the world at any point in time. Plus you tap into an alumni of 13,000 at the moment, which means that you have contacts the people who've also done the SEMS program all over the world who you immediately have a bond with, whether you've met them or not, when you're a SEMS, you have a bond. So that's a huge thing. So just to let you know that this program is highly ranked and the Financial Times, the Crocker Release, Simmons and The Economist, um, it's been in the top 10 ever since it was originally rated and ranked. Very much a core part of our program is that businesses actually get involved in the program. And we're talking about the Googles, the Facebooks, the consulting firms, the big consulting firms, the fast moving consumer good companies, and we'll recognize some of the cell phone companies. So it's a really, really prestigious um, alliance where corporates are involved in the program. And then we can talk about universities as well. We're talking about, as I said earlier, leading business schools. Some of you may recognize some of the names. We're talking about Nova, Ivy, Cornell, uh, St. Gallen, uh, Rotterdam, business schools that are absolutely known to be the best in the world. So what's important about this program is that in addition to a master's in international management, there's this huge focus, obviously, on internationalism because it's an international program and it teaches you how to be an international manager, but also business embeddedness, which means that and as I go through the program very briefly, I'll tell you more about how corporates get involved in the program. A huge emphasis on responsible citizenship. So we're really trying to groom leaders of tomorrow who want to make the world a better place. Global leadership by the same token, not just leadership, but how do you lead across multinational firms, across diverse contexts with different cultures? So again, that international perspective of leadership and critical and reflective thinking, looking for agile problem solvers who come up with creative, innovative solutions. 80% of, of our SEMS graduates actually work abroad, but most, most important is that 98% are employed within six months of graduating. So given the current state of employment worldwide, that's huge. Now, who should apply? We, ha we have a very, very high uh, standard for this program. And so some people may, may be watching today that may have to do some work before you eventually apply. But the thing is that we do have to have people with very high academic standards, people who can perform in a fast changing environment. We definitely are looking for people with empathy because we are interested in people who, who have uh, values and, and value diversity and value different cultures and are willing to take responsibility in society. One thing that I need to say is it's a full-time program designed for people who come out of university. So definitely, if you've had a lot of working experience, this is not the program for you. We're looking for people with less than two years of work experience, and you have to have the right level of qualification to enter into a master's level study and with business-related material. Now, there are some ways that we can work around this. For example, if you've done an undergrad, but an, a, um, an honors degree in business, like a postgraduate diploma, then that would also be fine if your final year was all at that level in business. But generally speaking, you do need a business um, background and a GMAT score of 600 is the minimum, proficiency in English and a second language also at an intermediate proficiency, which is quite a high proficiency other than English. So let's quickly look at the outline of the, of the program. As you can see, it comprises three terms over two years, but it's actually 18 months, or one year to 18 months, depending on how long you take to finish your thesis. It starts off with a block seminar, which is really a very, um, it's, it's kind of the flavor of every school. So 
you know, we're going to really emphasize doing business in Africa, which is our special a special um, block seminar, but it's really a time for getting to know the new the people in your class and really doing some fun things and really kind of, it's like an initiation into the program. Then we have global strategy, which is a core course. And wherever you do it in the world, you'll cover certain basic minimum items or subjects, but every school again has their own little nuance. But essentially, if you do global strategy anywhere in the world, you cover certain things. So just to understand what I mean by a core course for SEMS. Then you're going to do a research methods course, which is going to help you with your thesis. And that happens right in the beginning. It's an online course. You could try and do it earlier if you know you've, you've been accepted. You could get going on that even before we start. Then you'll take four to six elective courses. And we've got some fantastic electives. And business communication skills is a very short seminar that everyone does in term one. In term two, we do what we call the global citizenship seminar, which again is this emphasis on the sustainable development goals and you know uh, issues like um, things that, that make the world a better place. So really focusing on, on, on how can you be a, a responsible leader? Global leadership, I've already touched on the kinds of issue, cross-cultural issues that you deal with. Another core course, again, you would do that anywhere in the world and cover mostly the same curriculum. And then the business project, which is a very practical hands-on experience with a real life multinational. And that's where one of the things that the multinationals will do is get involved in business projects. They will also lead what we call business skills seminars. So all these beautiful companies that you saw we, we pitched up there would actually come and do business skills seminars with you. They would teach you whatever it is that they're good at. They will pass on practical skills so that when you leave, you feel like you've actually had experience. You haven't done a theoretical master's. You've done something that's given you practical business experience. And the same applies for the international in internship. Again, the reason being that you can actually get your hands dirty and see what it's like to be immersed in a real multinational firm and that's an eight-week program that uh, eight-week program with certain outcomes and deliverables which you typically would do in term three but it can be done at a different stage is that you will pick up a third language course that's very important the third language course happens um, throughout the program and at the end you just have to write or, or you have to show that you've done 60 hours of language to be able to show that you're eligible and that you can speak a language at an elementary level a third language if you already don't have one that is and also there is a dissertation, a master's dissertation, which you start working on right at the beginning and you work on throughout the program. We have the best of the best faculty. I mean, you know, we're really having very lucky in securing our very best faculty for the program. So we have Professor John Louis doing global strategy. He is incredibly well published. Um, he, he works all over the world. He's amazing. Great teacher and great researcher. Linda Ronnie won the um, um, Distinguished Teacher of the Year Award, which is a very big achievement. So she's an outstanding teacher. Rolf, also very, very well published and a lovely teacher as well. He'll teach global citizenship. Luana is our favorite person. She's our deputy dean. And I'm just joking when I say our favorite person, but she's also part of Heads Up International Relations, which is where we fall under. And she will give you the most incredible experience on the block seminar. So we have exciting electives. And these are the SEMS only electives, so exclusive for our SEMS students. Um, and you can see the kinds of topics. We've got a hard skills topic on derivatives and risk management. And then we've got many topics to do with making the world more socially equitable, um, apply social responsible investment, social entrepreneurship. And Warren, who's also a very celebrated researcher, um, he leads up the social innovation lab, which is very experiential and really is not theoretical at all. It's totally practical, totally innovative and exciting. So the investment you would make is 210,000 South African um, rands. The wonderful thing is if you're anywhere else in Africa, you pay the same as you would even if you were in South Africa. Normally you pay more, but we've made this the same for everybody because we really want to encourage people on our continent to get this fantastic education and international students pay a slight surcharge more. When you're planning for your expenses, you do need to allow for about 5,000 euros to cover your travel and accommodation. So this is just to mention the cost of living in Cape Town. If you're not from Cape Town and you're going to come stay here for three months for the first or the second term, it's interchangeable. You can do one term here and one term abroad and vice versa. Uh, it's about 1,000 euros approximately per month. And then we have just to say that in addition to working very hard, you also have the social life and you also do some fun things like organize events um, for charity or most of in fact, they're all for charity, all sorts of things. Uh, Business Tomorrow, uh, by the Entrepreneurship Club and Women in Leadership and many more. So you can take your pick. We've got social clubs. We've got our own brig. You would be part of all the um, sporting facilities at UCT, the upper campus, which is about 15 minutes away. 
Um, so really exciting social stuff going on. And of course, you'll have access to all the alumni, both at the GSB and, and UCT and also SEMS. So um, we, we have a fantastic careers department that really look after you for the duration. And then just in terms of application deadlines, I'm going through this very, very quickly to make more time for questions. Um, we've passed the first round already, so we're on the second round now. Second round have, ends on the 15th of January, so in about a month's time. And the final round, 30th of April. The only difference between the two is that if you don't um, apply by the 15th of January, you will have to do your first term here and not abroad. If you apply before the 15th of January, there's a chance you can still do your first term in one of the other 32, 33 countries. Um, but either way, you will go to one of those leading business schools. You will always do one, one term here and one term abroad at one of our partner universities, which, as I mentioned, are really the top schools in the world.